In this video, I will be demonstrating one method for solving drawing 1-10 quadrant for lathe. On this particular one, I'm going to start by locating my center points. I know that it is 4.32 inches away. So let's start 4.32. and I have a circle on that reference point of 1.12 diameter. Circle with the diameter, 1.12. And on this side I have a diameter of 0.50. My larger circle has a diameter of 2 inches, each of these. diameter of 2 inches there. I have a tangent line going along the bottom. Alright, so my lower portion is done. Let's go ahead and create this reference center line which is a radius of 4.44 and that is using the center point that we've previously identified. So let's do a circle with a radius, 4.44. And I'm going to convert that into a construction line just so I don't get confused. Let's go ahead and put this in a construction line as well so I know that's not part of my object. Now I also have this radius of 5.32 which is also based off of this center point. Do a radius 5.32 and as you can see that should be a tangent line there. So this is coming up like this and then we're coming around and then we're coming back. All right, let's focus on this upper portion. I've drawn my center mark to give me that reference line. If I look at this value, 0 0.50, the distance from here to here is 0 0.50, which means half the distance from my reference line to this line should be 0.25. So I'm going to offset 0.25 and jump back over here. Okay, this point right here, we have a radius of 4, and that is based upon this center mark. That's going to give us our center point. So radius of point or of four inches. And that gives us this point right here. Now we know that the diameter here is 0.5. So these circles here, we would have a diameter of 0.5 based on our new center mark, 0.5. This one up here, we are taking our center point here. Let's switch over to line here. We're taking our center point here and we have a three inch diameter or three inch radius circle. Let's jump back to center line. Three inch radius circle. So where that's crossing that should be our other point. So let's do a diameter of 0.5. Alright. And let's 
trim off some of these lines to make it a little bit clearer what we're working with. Okay. Let's trim these little bits of the circle. That little tail there, little tail here. Let's go ahead and a little bit more to trim. And we will convert these into our object line, object layer. All right. So I have this inner portion created. I have, let's take a look here. Okay, so we have a radius of 0.88. That is based off of this center mark here. So we can go ahead and create another circle, 0.88, another one down here for this one on this end, the radius here, 0.88, okay. Now because our radius is 0.88, we can just offset this center mark, 0.88 down and that should give us this lower piece. Offset 0.88, there we go. Trim off these extra little pieces and this little bits of the circle here. There we go. And let's trim this back portion off. I don't think we need this one or this one any longer. And trim this back portion here. There we go. Now we're starting to look fairly close to what we want. For this last one, this might actually be the easiest part to do, this radius of 1.32. We know that this circle is tangent to our lower circle and our upper circle. And we know that it has a radius of 1.32. So I can do a circle, tangent, tangent, radius. My first point of tangency is my lower circle. My second point is my upper circle and my radius is 1.32. Let's go ahead and trim that off. All right, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and put my center marks in, and I'm gonna use this using that function we learned in the previous drawing, where if you come up here to center line, and to select that layer, annotate, center mark, and let's do another center mark on this one here. All right. And that's looking pretty good. Let's bring this center mark all the way across and delete out that little piece underneath it. Now we need this center mark up here. Well, we already have that line that we previously made. So I'm just going to pull that. Now that's not gonna work just to pull that longer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a line out here as kind of a stopping point. And I'm gonna draw a line over here as kind of a stopping point. We're gonna see if this is gonna work. I'm gonna use my extend command and I'm going to select this. All right, so that's gonna work. So that's just going to extend that circle to my stopping point. And then I'm gonna take this and change it into the center line layer. Let's move this one to object. All right, and then I'm gonna come in and put these little tiny uh, reference lines in as well. To do that, I'm gonna do that in the zero layer. Now, if you notice, 
most of the lines of our drawing are pretty thick and those lines are an object layer because it is part of our object this other little reference line that's quite a bit thinner that is in the zero layer so that has a radius of four so let's go ahead and do a radius of four and I'm going to just put a little cross piece in here trim off these little ends and get rid of those All right, so that one looks pretty good looks like the original drawing this one here I'm going to do the same thing this is a radius of three and that just goes about there to there so let's just do a couple little stop pieces trim off some of these excess pieces delete that alright and one last look here it appears as though I have everything drawn okay so I'm going to come up here and save this and this will be Olson 1-10 and I'm ready to plot it out now after saving it I realized that I forgot this center mark here and I think that was the last little piece that I needed to do now this one's a little bit different in that all we have is a little plus sign and there's no lines extending beyond that plus sign I'm gonna follow the same procedures and annotate a center mark right there but I don't want all of that so I'm gonna come back and delete off those other pieces that I don't want now I have everything on my drawing I believe go ahead and save this and I think now we're ready to plot